Hello everyone and welcome back to more Murloc RPG. So last time I was talking a bit more about... By the way, there's an instant here, still rare. You can't... You can fight some bosses here, but I'm pretty sure that I've got no... Uh, no way of fighting anything here. Like, this is a side piece of check -like, the bad boss, and there's no way I can do anything here. But I'm just gonna show it off for once. We're gonna do this later on in the game, don't worry. So I was saying, uh... So I got into that new guild that was forming which had like the 15 best players on that server at that time were joining and we were doing a 10 man group and it was it was the golden group guys it was the golden land oh wait you can play Guru Vashti Arena here which I don't quite sure what it does yeah you have to you have more stuff I think you're able to fight here but you get some really nice stuff, stuff that you can buy here which obviously I've, right now there's no way I can buy stuff Anyway, so we were fighting Alec here, we were doing really great, I was healing like a boss, like a boss, so beautiful, and then Firelands happened, and holy shit, Firelands was so glorious, if you know wildprogress.com, go to wildprogress.com right now, and check our guild Unleash on Amanthul, and look at how we did on Firelands, because we fucking oh that shit. We got like Germany rank 20 kills in Firelands, and most of us didn't even have good equipment because our guild formed so much at the uh, so far at the end of that tier before that, and a lot of our people didn't even kill the heroic content enough to get equipment. We didn't even have heroic gear. We had fucking normal gear from the tier before that. We still killed Alec here like a boss. We got like one or two parts from that. And we killed like Nefarian once or twice. And then we went in into Firelands while still grinding gear in the tier before that because we fucking needed it. <laughs> and we still got really awesome kills. I don't know, how, how do you even get like... If it was like world rank 50 kills or something, or world rank 100 kills or something, with like normal gear equipped from the tier before that, it was insane. We were going into like the first boss on heroic, like Beftilak, and we were doing the maths, and we were like, holy shit, even if all our guys are doing top damage, and all our heroes are doing top healing, theoretically, we shouldn't even be able to do it. But two weeks later, or like one week later, I think it was actually one week later, after the stuff opened, we did it fucking anyway! I don't know, <laughs> we just fucking... The math didn't make sense, all our healers were... Most of, in most tries, our healers went either oom uh, out of mana in like two minutes, or the tank died up in the web after like 10 seconds because he somehow got smacked by Beth like so hard that by the way I was the healer up there and I pumped my best fucking heals with crits into that tank who was a death knight who were the worst tanks at that point in the game easily and he, some, sometimes he just got one shot in a global and I couldn't fucking do anything and we were like our tank gets one shot in a global what the fuck do we even do but we just kept trying we just kept trying doing random stuff doing everything we could and then somehow a week later the boss fucking died somehow and it was the fucking best feeling ever and we were like man that was, that was good how were our ranks what, what rankings were those then we checked the rankings we were like how the fuck are we like world rank 50 world rank 100 we were just formed with shitty equipment but the thing is absolutely everyone in that guild was like the best player you could ever find on that server, every single one. We had the fucking best Death Knight tank, the best Death Knight damage dealer, we had the best... Um, well, oh, but it was me, ha ha ha. We had the best Holy Priest, we had the best Discipline Priest, two, two people actually. We had the two best Healing Druids, we had the best Feral Druid, we had the best fucking anything. And I kid you not, very first try, Major Domo Heroic, 2%. I'm not even fuck. We almost first tried Major Domo Heroic. For some reason, we still took like a week to kill him. I don't even know how. <laughs> or like a few days to kill him. So we, we almost one 
tried Major Domo and then it still took us like three days to kill him. I have no idea how the fuck that happened, but it, it did happen. I don't I don't know how that happened, but yeah. How, how awesome would that have been to one first try heroic Major Domo? That was insane! I don't know why I didn't heroic strike there, maybe because I'm talking too much. Okay, right now I'm doing a little bit of one explorizing and two leveling. We need to like level 14 or something. So we killed the shit out of those guys. We did have to slow down a little bit at the end. And the thing is, I actually did some really sad stuff happen. Well, not sad as in you cry, but actually I did kind of cry because at the end of that, t towards the end of that tier when it came to Ragnaros, I had to move to another place and I didn't have internet at that place. Or rather, I did have internet, but I didn't have the ability to go on TeamSpeak because I was at the university and at that university UDP ports are closed so I had to find a tunnel so that I could open the UDP ports so that I could play fucking and get on TeamSpeak for some reason this, there were like five UDP ports that were open and one of those was for World of Warcraft I don't even know why or Blizzard games in general like Diablo and Starcraft also works so, and during that time was exactly the time we got to Ragnaros. And these, and I, and I told my gig game, and Gil is like, guys, I have to move. I don't have to do this tunnel shit, which took me like some time to get done. So, I was the healer on Ragnaros. I've, I've been the main healer, like the number one healer on pretty much every single fight. But because of that, I couldn't do it for Ragnaros. So, I had to sit for Ragnaros. And my other, my guildies killed it without me. Which meant that I'm like the only guy in that guild who didn't get the achievement for Realm First Ragnaros. Because it was obviously World Realm First. The other guild that was on there was really good too. But, but they weren't us, so obviously they were shit. So, yeah. So I'm missing that achievement. But at least I played some. Uh, I, at the end, towards the end of that tier, I played some Rogue, and then we got to. Dragonlance. Dragonlance, we were still doing really fine, but we had a bit of a slump in the middle because players uh, lost a bit of motivation because we wanted to be... The thing is, we never actually said out loud what our aspirations were, but I think everyone sort of knew that we kind of wanted to be like World 50. But we had a bit of a slump, people lost a bit of motivation, we didn't quite make World 50 anymore. Some people like really lost motivation and then we kind of... Uh, we got Realm second because the other guild actually got off their fucking uh, ass and actually <laughs> and was actually doing really well at the, towards the end of that. So yeah, we kind of broke up, broke up. Yeah, so that guild kind of dissolved after that towards the end of Cataclysm, and we weren't really doing anything. And as Mist of Pandaria started, we completely 100% dissolved and. I had another hiatus for Mr. Pandaria because I was with all the guild. I really didn't like anyone else on that server because they were all pretty much shit. And I had another hiatus. And towards the end of that hiatus, I came back. I joined another guild, which was like Realm Three or something. I didn't even go to the Realm One guild because I, like I said, I really didn't even like those guys. And then towards the end of Mr. Pandaria, we just like the. I think I cleared oh, Siege of Orkama like twice with that guild on Mythic, which just came out at that time. And that was about that. I think I actually want to buy some items for this track. Give me some of this. Uh, and then at the very end, then um, it Warlords of Draenor started. And if you want to know what happened in Warlords of Draenor, which basically was my Rise to Greatness Part 2. Because uh, uh, My Rise to Greatness Part 1 as a Holy Paladin had ended at that point. I was like, fuck Holy Paladin, I'm a rogue now. And if you want to know what happened when I was a rogue, tune in next time. See you guys then.